next component we are going to draw is a pipe okay it is a similar like a blank structure again you have to select a vertical plane okay so always have a habit if you are doing to draw all the objects in one plane either you select front plane or right plane but keep this selection as a constant for all the components okay so front plane if you are in for vertical objects so select front plane throughout your uh, drawing First thing is I will draw axis. Then I will draw pipe. So for pipe is having hollow pipe, it is having opposite L shape structure is there. If you observe the diagram, this is the pipe. So this part you are seeing it is called as a bush. Okay. It is like uh, some kind of a gripper. Everyone use a pen. So on that pen, the gripper is there. So like that, this bushing is there. So it is made of a rubber line structure. So neglecting this at this first moment, we have to concentrate on this L shape only. So I am drawing this L shape only first. So again, define the dimension. What its internal diameter is. Outer diameter is sixty. Okay. What is sixty? Outer diameter is one one zero. It is twenty two. And to do. Okay. Throughout height is three hundred. So like this structure is there. Twenty two, three hundred. Internal diameter, external diameter. This diameter is defined. So I think all things have been defined. So if we make it fix it again revolve the boss command so we get a pipe like structure here okay. now you want to create a bush okay so if you see this part okay so it is again a hollow cylinder okay so you have to create this sketch and you you can revolve about this axis or another option is you can draw two circles of this this diameter, this diameter, this radius, you can draw two circle and you can make extrude the boss. Okay, so there are two options, whichever easy you can follow. So for that I have to select this part, make it again sketch. I'm using two concentric circle to extrude for this. So this is the plane. So this will be my first diameter and Second diameter will be of its larger size. It is having diameter 62.5. So these are two circles. Okay, remember when you are going to draw these two circles, it should be drawn in on in in a common sketch. Or at the same time, you have to draw these two circles. If you draw, if you make the exit sketch and you are going to draw it again, it will not be able to extrude the same component. Okay, so always remember when you are going to extrude the two concentric circles, you have to draw that two circles in the same sketch at the same time before exiting the sketch. Now I will use the extrude boss command. So can you see the hollow component is generated? So I want to change the direction. Okay, its length is defined. So from this face it is 50. Total length is 300. Okay, so this height must be 228. Okay. Okay. Just want to check the again that all the dimensions have been taken are correct or not. Okay. Okay. So, code length is 300 is taken and then build the sketch. Okay. So, every time 
when you draw any 3d object make an habit to check that object through sectional plane so this sectional plane should be the same drawing that is visible to you now so this drawing and this drawing must be the same drawing in case of a gland if you observe now open gland now if you want to see this gland I will make a sectional way, make it normal to the sketch. So this sketch, this line, and this sketch are same, one and the same. If I make it okay, then you see this sketch and this sketch is same. Okay, so this is the validating your drawing. So always keep this in your mind that you have to check for the drawing before going for the assembly. Otherwise, what will happen? It will take again time to rechecking the same drawing again and again. Again, as the drawing says, there are six holes of 15 mm diameter which are equally spaced on its circle diameter of 156. So here again, I have to make a sketch. I will make it normal to the sketch. Again, since the sectional view in the sectional view hole is not visible I have to draw my first hole here so always remember since the, in the sectional view hole is not visible I have to draw if it was visible I have to draw here okay. smart dimension again diameter is 15 again distance from center to center is center to center is 78 one half of 156 is 78. So exit page feature export code. It is up to the next. Okay. Since how many holes are there? Six holes are there. Like the previous, you can answer it. You can draw the same. Only thing in SolidWorks is easy is can in the feature command is this you can define a circle by just clicking the curve okay. so six number of holes are there they are equally spaced so this is the pipe drawing now if you want to check the drawing just click on the section now so is it the same drawing visible clear eyes here yeah. same so your drawing is correct so this is the checking the drawing drawn okay so it will save your drawing uh, time during the assembly again save the drawing you can give the name as five so this is the fourth drawing now next drawing is a drawing the body okay so you can close this five new part so drawing a body is a, a careful task you have to do since it is having two three irregular shapes okay so you, you start with any one point complete this contour without taking dimension and draw like this okay similar looking like this so we start with this so sketch again you have to select a vertical plane also okay so start with any point Arbitrarily, you have to take the dimensions. Most important thing is you have to draw the axis. Okay. Like this. The axis in black means axis is fixed. When you are going to define the dimensions, this diagram will mean on this axis. So first thing is that you have to define the step wise, you have to define the diameter first. 
Okay, so this diameter I will define is first is thirty five. Then next, seventy five. Now, stepwise, go for the outer diameter. Outer diameter is 65. Okay. Now, you have to focus on which is the blue line, which is the black line. The okay. blue line is a line which we have not yet given the dimensions. Okay. So, 185 is 92.5. So, always have a drawing with you when you are practicing this using this tutorial. This diameter is 100. Okay. So diameters have been defined. Okay. Again, the diameter is left here is 